We love you. Thank you for letting us come in and be in the house with you tonight. Thank you for coming. Listen, Apostle, I am so excited. You just, you just don't know how excited I am. I'm excited on many reasons because I'm so used to hearing you and my husband, your brother, talk all the time. I enjoy listening to men have intellectual conversation, things that make sense. Where are we going? Planning for the future. So I know that you and I never had a, a conversation outside of my husband. So I was wondering, I said, well, wow, this would be my first time talking to the man of God. i got to come correct. I gotta, big. I gotta come strong and go home. So I had to pull out the big guns, Apostle, because <laughs> listen, there's no way I'm gonna have a man of your caliber on my show, and I'm half stepping. So listen, I got a surprise for you. So I called on a special guest just for you, Apostle Eight or Four. Are you there? Oh, oh wow. Okay. okay. In the house. In the house. In the house. Hold oh, on, sir. God bless you, man. God bless you. Hey, hey. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. What's going on, fam? Y'all, y'all pull a good one on me tonight. Look, he's supposed to be vacationing. He's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> Key word, supposed to be. <laughs> Listen, this was in the makings before his plans to go on vacation. <laughs> I got you, got you, okay. So listen, I knew I had to come correct. And one of the things that, <laughs> me, that I admire about the both of you was the conversation that you're always speaking life and walk in faith. So listen, my first question I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to turn it over to your brother, and I'm going to let y'all do what y'all do, because I think the world can benefit from two men, especially black men, who want so economical, you know, we want resources not only for our families, but for the communities, for the world. So my first question to you, sir, would be how important is it for a man, especially a black man, to have and obtain financial literacy? Wow. I, I think that's something that's very great. I've been taught that since a child. Uh, just on last month, we were celebrating Financial Literacy Month. And one of the things that we went and celebrated was Black Wall Street. So we believe in just bringing it back to uh, bringing things back home and bringing it back to our people. The Bible speaks of this thing. He said, my people perish from a lack of knowledge. And I believe that the Lord is pulling people back in place like like yourself, like Dr. Moore uh, and, and bringing uh, shedding a light to God's people. the giving us the know how and giving us the that thing of being able to go to the next level. Uh, some of us, you know, we've been. Uh, as the Bible says, we've been going around in this wilderness long enough. It's time for us to come out. Our 40 years is up. It's time for us now to go ahead and cross on over now. What you say about that, Apostle Moore? Uh, okay, yeah, I agree 